Hello everyone, my name is Stefan School. Today we are playing the Nautilus 79 over here on Splatoon 3. If you guys are enjoying Splatoon 3 content, make sure to like, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Let's get right on into it. Guys, we are a week away from Splatfest. Or a few days, actually. And I don't know if I will play, I'll be honest. I don't. <laughs> like, I enjoy Splatfest enough. It's just boring now to me. I don't know what you guys think about that. Tell me what your opinion on Splatfest is and if you still play them or if you still want to play them. But for me, they're just kind of like boring. Anyways, let's get going. I can't believe they just canonically confirmed in this world that bunnies and bears are extinct, except for Grizz, obviously. That uh, it, the Grizz is definitely alive oh, or dead. No, actually, no, we, we made him extinct, didn't we? So knowledge is the one that holds the charge underwater. Oh, that's great. And I got a suction bomb. That's nice. This is actually one of my. This is this is a really good uh, sub. Honestly, I like the sub a lot. Nautilus hits pretty far too. If I move forward, I can help like really do some pushing there. I mean, it's oh, but now if I want to use this, I've got to like get actually close to the enemy. And see that? Oh shoot! And that's just not gonna work out half the time. Like, if I wanna use that, if I wanna use that thing, it's, I've gotta be like, oh. God damn, there's a lot of death right there, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. I feel like I'm gonna be doing a lot of support work. Like, I don't think I'm gonna get too many, oh shit. Okay. That guy, good, good leader shot there, buddy. That e-leader had a good shot on me and well-deserved shot on me, honestly. Good work, that e-leader. So, I... Don't I, I don't have any like special insight into this weapon in general. I don't do Nautilus often. You're able to kind of move with a charge, which is nice. Uh, I know not uh, this is the only um what do you call it? This is the only splatling that's able to do that. So whenever you're doing something, just like make sure you have a charge up. So you just like immediately utilize it wherever you're going. There we go. <laughs> but like to use your special, you gotta get really close, which is the wild thing. I don't like that. I feel like this is supposed to be more ranged weapon. We go two. Can we get three? Can we get three? Can we get three? We can get three. Let's go. Oh, I almost got four. Let's fucking go. That was, ah, oh, that was good. It was terrifying though. It charges. It charges pretty decently fast, which I like about. Which that's something I like about this weapon. But like, oh my god, that was that was good. Th those last three splats. Perfect. Did not intend for that at all, and it still went well. Booyah! I feel like I'm the only one using like the default weapon ones now. Somehow in that last game, I got eight splats. I... <laughs> I don't know how. Apparently I got eight splats, which is a pretty darn good number, honestly. I'm pretty proud of eight splats on, um, on a knot, you know? I didn't think I'd get eight splats, that's for sure. Also, I don't know if you can do this with every other splatling, but like the fact that you could like refill your splatling as you're uh, attacking is kind of really cool. I don't remember if you can do it with every other splatling. Let me put it like that. I did try, I have played a few splatlings, not many though. Like, oh my god, I got a splat there. Fuck it, let's go. Suction bomb. Boom! <laughs> Suction bomb was dope. Oreo so woo woo. Is the Oreo so woo woo? 
Um, no, but like seriously, I don't I don't remember a, lo a lot of what other splatlings do or how they do it. Um, more along the lines of I just kind of like vaguely remember things that happened. I don't think on the Hydra you could just like recharge halfway through your shot, if I recall correctly. Nor the Heavy, because I, I remember I enjoyed Heavy a lot. I played that actually uh, for a little while. I didn't main it, but like I played it as a big part of my rotation. I've made it- OH! <laughs> I got one and the other got me! Oh, that was good. I mean, I, I did not main it, but I used it as a big part of my rotation between things like Tri Stringer, Heavy, and I think at that time I was also doing Blobber quite a bit. And I was enjoying that. I was having a lot of fun with that. God, there's a lot of fights for this exact area. Okay, hit that. We are able to push him back a little bit, hopefully. I don't necessarily need complete control. I just need to push him back far enough. That's okay. Unintentional splat with the, with the suction bomb. Hell yeah. Oh, I missed. I missed. I missed. Oh, Jesus. They got me good. They got me real good. Okay, they did great. I am, I am gonna say like off the top of my head you're gonna want some main saver or main or ink recovery, ink resistance for sure. But I feel like it's just like such like stereotypical like like yeah every every single kit every single build wants ink resistance and a little bit of saver for sure. But like I I I I say keep it, get it like you're supposed to be a little more front line with this because of that splashdown. I definitely say uh, get that uh, ink resistance for sure. And the main saber, 100% sure as well. I want to say I had a long enough wait when I first started this recording that um, my camera was actually a little off and showing part of the wall behind me that wasn't green screened. And I had enough time to adjust that, get water, all that kind of stuff. I waited literally like a minute and a half to get into um, a game, which I'm wondering why um, Nintendo servers are just kind of taking that long time again. Like. I've seen this as not just a me problem. I've seen people on Twitter talking about it as well. Um, I know Luna, as an example, was making a joke about it, cracking like, oh yeah, what is this? The, the launch of Splatoon 2 or something like that? I'm like, damn, all right. So like, it feels like this is a recurring or pretty consistent problem that hasn't, hadn't really been there before. Not in significance or not in any way that I noticed it. Um, so I'm wondering like, how that came to be, right? Or rather, why it came to be. Oh, shoot! <laughs> that- this is why- that's why I love Brella. Brella does stupid things like that, and it's great. Brella does stupid things like that, and it's absolutely fantastic. That's why I love Brella. Like, if you- if you- if, if, if you- every time you shoot, if you open up your canopy, you are so well defensible. No matter which Brella you really have out, um, I love Tentabrella. I know not everyone does, and I know very few people do, actually. Let me rephrase that. But I love it. It's such a nice weapon for me. Um... Oof. Oh, Jesus! Right there! <laughs> I thought I got them out of the sky for a second. No, they were still flying around. It's such a nice weapon for me, because it just really lets me be that mobile fortress I like being. Uh, the tanky mobile fortress is always good stuff. You have some pretty good pain ability with this weapon, too. You're gonna be drawing in... As long as you keep staying mid-range, essentially, you'll be drawing in ink pretty quickly. 
stay in corners, and you should definitely be able to do some real d good damage to anyone kind of coming around as well. Which is nice. Like, if you're able to do that kind of, like, if you're able to stay around corners and kind of shark it a little bit, that could definitely help. So maybe if you really want, you do some ninja squid there. Oh, sh I did not think it went that long. I did not think it went that long. Oh, my God. I don't think we won. I don't think we won. I, I, I pushed up at the very end to do as much damage as... Oh, actually, hold on. I don't think we won. Maybe? No, 5%. That makes sense. I pushed up as far as I could for that first bit and... Didn't work. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. For that last bit, excuse me, not the first bit. So modes changed for us halfway in, and I will say this, I am glad we don't have to deal with either Makomar or, Ma or, or Mahi Resort, um, because usually we do. And even though we had to deal with four maps today, neither of those were one of us. So I'm, I'm glad that for once, we have a different set of maps. Also, sorry, I'm playing with a deck of cards about down here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Low frog. We're fighting a Toyota. Is it a Toyota Camry or is it a Toyota Elantra? Like, what, what do we have? That's my only car joke I have, guys. I'm sorry. I, I do not actually know cars. If you if you just joined in on this YouTube video and you're like, Oh my god, this Steph guy, he knows cars. I feel him. That's the only car joke you're going to get. Unless it's ripping on Tesla and e Elon. You're not going to get too many other car jokes, honestly. They got me good. They got me good. E leaders terrify me. I, I think I've talked about this a lot. E leaders just terrify me. They they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing, and they 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 know they know how much skills they've got. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I almost got that guy. I can like I can do some decent decent pushing here. That was good. That was really good. There's a lot of these custom e leaders. Are they like a new meta? Is e leader is it custom e leader a new meta for like the game? That's like really good for whatever reason. Like if it is, that's great. But like I don't know the reason. Yeah, get yourself some main savers so you can push harder. For sure. You want to be able to push as much as as much as squid squiddingly possible. You want to be pushing as much as possible. And to push you need to basically have constant ink. So get your ink uh, get your ink saver for sure. Get your ink recovery. You need that really good. You need that high. Uh, and your ink resistance is definitely gonna help out too. 
Because you're you're gonna be able to push easy peasy. You can push easy peasy. You just you just need you just need that ink to back it up or someone with you pushing. Because you're gonna be able to push and push far. And even on that little hump in the middle, you're able to push over it and shoot your ink to the other side, which is really great and useful if you've pushed people back already. So Get your ink saver and definitely get your ink recovery for sure. Cherry joined in with a heavy edit or edit heavy, whatever that is. So uh, let's see if Agent kicks my butt. Uh, Cherry kicks my butt. I read Agent. Oh my god, they got two snipers though. So they got three back lines. We got. Oh uh, no, the uh, minis. Are, the minis are front line, isn't it? Minnie's like Minnie's like really frontline, like really aggressive, if I recall correctly. Like, I remember hearing it is I remember seeing it being aggressive. I don't remember playing it well. I I'll be honest. I don't remember the actual like I know I've played it. I don't remember actually playing it though. My memory's not that Oh god! Ah! They got me good. Oh god, I barely survived that. Cherry got me! Beans! Okay. Orange team's kicking our rear, y'all. Orange team is just absolutely shredding into us. It is rough. It is rough. All right, we pushed back. That's nice. Ah, Cherry! They're really good. The, the orange team is so absolutely fantastic. They're all you, all, you can see that they're all really well skilled in whatever they're playing. Like, no joke. They all know exactly what they're doing and how they're doing it, which is good for them and bad for me. Charger replica just keeps sniping me out of midair. Oh my god. That's, that's somewhat frustrating. Oh. Alright, that was me. That was me. That was me. That was me. Oh my god, the Z plus F splatter scope. We did not win this. We got our butts kicked so last minute. Well, no, we couldn't bring it back last minute. We got our butts kicked till the last minute. Like literally below my, I'm just doing that. It just, it's nice. Ah. All right, guys. Yeah, I didn't do that great. We went from eight splats on the first two games to one to three to zero. It was uh, it was a roughie. It was 100% a roughie. Let's do some quick gambling real quick because we have that uh, conch shell and we'll do that quick 5,000 too. Cards. Damn it. All right, guys. Well. That's it for Splatoon for me today. I tried out the Knot 79. I don't have any special... 
like advice for it, I definitely think you need some ink resistance because you gotta get closer up than I'm used to with, with any uh, with any of the splatlings. Uh, because you have that triple splashdown and you need to be a little closer for that. Or you need to be at least getting willing to get closer, so you need to be fast, so maybe some swim speed, ink ink resistance, swim speed, uh Main saver and of course uh, ink recovery. I think are going to be your focuses. I don't know if anyone else has any advice. If you do, put it down in the comments below. Tell me what you think about this weapon and what kind of gear you use for this weapon. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I hope you all had a good one. Y'all stay safe, stay bot is cool, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.